good things happen to those who play hard and hustle harder. And only the strong will survive at the end of this World Olympic qualifying tournament held here inside the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium in Tokyo, Japan. It is the hosts, Japan, about to test the medal of Venezuela. Here in this matchup in the WOQT, James Velasquez on hand calling the action. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, curious fact here for Japan. Uh, the last time they squared off against Venezuela in the Olympics was 2008, and it was won in straight sets by their opponents today, something that I'm sure has not escaped the minds of these high-flying Japanese spikers. While for Venezuela, they want to replicate that fact. Uh, unfortunately for Venezuela in uh, their region, unfortunately the strength of other teams have uh, not allowed them to really uh, emerge in the South American uh, region. But now looking to qualify for Rio 2016, looking uh, for one of the four spots. Of course, uh, one of the spots will be reserved for the best Asian side, which was won by Japan uh, when they competed in 2008. Uh, now, this is the second time that Japan and Venezuela will be facing off in an Olympic qualifying tournament 2012. Japan won in straight sets in uh, 2015, the World Cup. Japan also winning in straight sets. It is going to be a monumental battle. This crowd filling up the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. A lot of them chanting the names of their favorite players as we take a look meanwhile at the standings. Iran, uh, France, Poland in the winner's column, uh, while Canada, China, Australia absorbing uh, their first loss in the opening day, as well as Australia. So Venezuela and Japan now. Which team will be joining the winner's column? We will find out in just a few moments. As you take a look at Team Venezuela, of course, their top gun still in a uniform here. Kevin Piñarua, who totaled 121 points for Venezuela in the 2015 World Cup, built on 108 spikes, six blocks, seven aces. Venezuela is going to need scoring from the other guys like uh, Will Quijada, like uh, Maximo Martinez, like Emerson Gonzalez. And the other guys, especially going up against a very quick very methodical team, so a huge challenge for head coach Vincenzo Nacci from Italy. On the other side, Gori uh, Kunihiro Shimizu, uh, captaining uh, the squad, uh, coached by coach Masashi Nambu. And a lot of the eyes, of course, on the next four of Japan. Unfortunately, I think only three of those four promising prospects uh, will be here in the lineup. It's uh, Yuki Ishikawa, uh, Masahiro, or Yanagida Masahiro, and uh, Tomimatsu Takaaki. So I'm going to call them the fighting three. And hopefully they can backstop uh, Shimizu, who is looking to be more consistent, playing that opposite side for Japan. And we are thankful that this tournament is broadcasted around the world. Uh, the other member of the uh, next four not in uh, the lineup, unfortunately, for Japan. Uh, Outside hitter, Takahashi Kentaro. It's still a very talented squad. As you take a look at Venezuelan team captain, Kervin Pinarua, earlier during the warm-ups, he was uh, looking pretty good. And that's going to be some duel with Yuki Ishikawa meeting him on the other side of the net. Both squads ready to see action. And Japan looking to make the hometown proud. So they compete here in the opening day of the FIVB World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. Now we pause for a while for the singing of the national anthems of both nations. Ladies and gentlemen, prior to the playing of the national anthem, we ask you to join us in a moment of silence to offer our deepest sympathy and prayers to the families and friends of the victims of the 2016 Kumamoto earthquakes. Mokto.
Thank you. ありがとうございましたそれでは両国国家の演奏を行いますご来場の皆様はコート上の国旗にご注目ください始めにベネズエラ国家です。We will begin by the national anthem of the Barbarian Republic of Venezuela. Just before the national anthems were sung, there was a moment of silence, of course, to remember the victims and the survivors of the Kumamoto earthquakes just recently. That will serve as additional inspiration as Team Japan competes here in the World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. Of course, it's different when you're playing in front of your home crowd with a lot of motivation. In the Olympics, Japan has uh, won the bronze medal in 1964 here in Tokyo. Uh, no doubt that was special. In 1968 in Mexico, they won the silver medal and then uh, improving on that one in 1972 in Munich and uh, winning the gold. They missed three consecutive trips. They returned to be, uh, the Olympics in Beijing 2008. They were winless. They failed to qualify, unfortunately, for London. 2012. Very accomplished in the Asian uh, region, winning the Asian Championship, the Asian Games. The first and second referees inside the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium to enforce volleyball justice. And this crowd is buzzing as we prepare to meet the starting lineups of both squads.
Taking a look at the starting lineup for Venezuela. So Kervin Pinarua, their top gun, who plays opposite, will be starting in front. Coach Vincenzo Nacci from Italy calling the shots. And now the starting lineup for the Japanese six. Now the fighting pride here in the land of the rising sun. If you can tell, uh, the moment uh, Ishikawa Yuki was introduced, uh, this crowd suddenly went electric of the more popular players here in Japan. Of course, uh, Ishikawa Yuki, second leading scorer in the World League when uh, Japan competed. Next only to captain, Shimizu Kunihiro. He's been on the national team since 2007. A lot expected from middle blocker Edson Valencia. Well, he's going to have to work double time, uh, especially with Yanagita waiting uh, for him across the net. Very promising middle blocker in uh, Tomimatsu Takaaki. No doubt the leadership of uh, Pinarua, especially the base defense of Venezuela will be tested against Japan. Venezuela serving, Japan receiving to open set number one. Here we go. And immediately, Dekita Takashi kills that volleyball. Opening point thing, thanks to a quick play for Japan as Dakita serves. Good pass that time, and unfortunately, Fernando Gonzalez couldn't put it down. Good intent though, looking for that angle. Two to love to open set number one. Oh, what a play. And we did mention his name, Edson Valencia. Going up high for the strong finish. A quick. Quick play again. Good up. Yanagira gets it. Combination. Oh! Good block by Venezuela. As Pinarua and Jonathan Quijada form a double block. <laughs> this is a smile return by Japan. Overpass and then the get shot and the put away. Well, we did mention uh, Japan for sure has not forgotten about that Olympic loss of Venezuela. Hey, that applies to the other side as well. It remains the only Olympic win of Venezuela so far. Back set, Shimizu gets it off the block. They call him Gori, affectionately. Me being a slam dunk fan, uh, Possibly because of uh, one of the characters there, Akagi Takenori. Uh, Shimizu serving. Loaded service and an ace. And Kori puts it down with authority. Four serving three in set number one. Just this time, good pass. What a shot! And Fernando Gonzalez puts it down. 
All starting with that first ball. Good job by the back line of Venezuela. Here's Pinarua, who puts it away from the service line. A serve in Venezuela back on top by one. Well, miscommunication, Ishikawa. And I think Yanagida. No one committed to get that ball. Ishikawa this time, target of that service. Here's Shimizu. Gonzalez through the defense. But this time goes out. Look for Japan to anticipate that cross-court kill from Fernando Gonzalez. And maybe adjust, especially that back line. He spikes it far from the net, so that's uh, a little uh, difficult to block. Good job there by Hector Mata, keeping it up. Off speed, denied. Gonzalez is blocked. And look at Fukatsu. Combining forces with Takaki Tomimatsu. Our house, our rules. That's exactly what you want from uh, Takaki Tomimatsu. Loaded serve. Really making it hard for Venezuela to run their plays. Back to back blocks. This time, the Japanese phenom, Yuki Ishikawa, who gives Japan a two-point lead. Yanagida Masahiro, the other wing spiker of Japan on deck to serve. Got it easier to pick up. Oh, did not connect with the volleyball. They send it to Ishikawa, who gets denied. Good job by uh, Kema Carrasco. The set was high, so he was able to adjust accordingly. Time his block. Six serving seven. And that service error gives Japan the lead. Heading into the first technical timeout, a rousing start here in set number one. Team Japan brimming with confidence. Team Venezuela full of focus. Here in set number one, it is just a two-point game. Eight to six, Japan with the advantage. Japan serving. Pinerua sends it to the stands. And as long as 
The reception of Venezuela is on point. Kervin Peñarua is free to do his thing. That's why you've seen Japan really trying to load up their services. They have been successful so far. As Shimizu, is there a check? No, no touch. Left the opposite. Committing an attacker and equalizing this game, eight all. Jonathan Quijada preparing to serve. Chance to give Venezuela the lead, unfortunately gives Japan the lead. But so far in set number one, they have been trying to send the services towards Ishikawa and Masahiro. Good block. Uh, unfortunately, he goes out. At that time, Venezuela tooling the blocker after getting blanked early in this game. That's Edson Valencia. Can running a play. Shimizu at the left. Chance ball. There's a combination sent straight down by Will Rivas Quijada. Take a look at that swing over Ishikawa. Gets the finish. And Quijada, the second leading scorer of uh, Venezuela in the 2015 World Cup. One of their main guns in this tournament as well. Be quick. Put away. Dekita rising and surprising. The Japanese looking to kill Venezuela with their speed, especially in transition. Denal here in set number one. That one too strong. You could tell just uh, looking at the contact of that service. Yuki Ishikawa. 2015 FIB, FIVB World Cup best outside hitter. Very explosive. Plays for Modena Valley, the Italian league. One of the first uh, Japanese players to play in Europe. What a hit. And a finish for Yanagida Masahiro. Japan faking the middle. And going to the left side. Important for Japan to distribute that volleyball. We've uh, mentioned the names of uh, Dekita, Shimizu, Ishikawa. Venezuela going back to Pinarua, who gets it off the ball, uh, off the blocker. The other side, Venezuela trying to get their main gun going early on, maybe. Get the Japanese defense skiing on him, freeing the other guys. Well, he could have scored that time. Oh, but here's a free ball. Giving Japan a chance to run the play. Good defense, though, by Venezuela. Pinarua with authority. Came on back set. Maybe adjustment on the hands of uh, the Japanese blockers to direct it straight down on the next block. Here's the back set, beautiful play. And Tommy Matsu, perfect timing. In sync with uh, Fukatsu Hideomi, the setter of Japan. They have a chance to tie the game from the service line with Shimizu on deck. Now unfortunately, Saints serves it straight to the net. Both teams with their share of uh, technical errors. But it's going to be magnified as we head into the second technical timeout with Venezuela up by two. Pinarua gets an instruction where to send it. Serves up Yanagida. 
play developing. Gallagher gets it back for the finish. They fake the back quick. And frees up Yana Gida for the finish. And he's also at the service line. The fourth leading scorer of Japan in the World League. Former coach uh, Gary Sato as uh, Yana Gida commits another service error. He says uh, this young Japanese team is in good hands. And he wants to see a lot from the middle blockers to complement the usual one-two punch of Shimizu and Ishikawa. Here's Fernando Gonzalez serving. Shimizu, good cover. Back set, Pinarua, block. One more try, blocked again! And Ishikawa shutting the door back from whence he came. Another look. It's so nice, you need to see it thrice. Ishikawa may not be swinging yet. But he's getting his points. Playing excellent defense up top. Both serve, handled well. Oh, unfortunately. Tommy Matsu could not get to it, and Venezuela with a two-point lead heading into the second technical timeout, 16-14. Venezuela really packing those spikes with power here in set number one as they are up by two points. After the second technical timeout, you just saw Jonathan Quijada, a 203 centimeter middle blocker. He's been helping out on the scoring with uh, Kervin Pinarua, as well as uh, the man on your screen, Edson Valencia. Let's see if Venezuela has more in store. As they serve it up. Just Ishikawa swinging, trying to go line, but Pinarua was there. And Pinarua, this is how you do it. Here's the back set, the Kervin, the captain. As he puts it away, full swing and a furious finish, and Japan sues for time. A smile on the face of Kervin Pinarua as he comes out of that uh, timeout. 
Venezuela up by three. That's the reason why he's smiling, and he, he's also been able to spike it coming from different sets, either low, either high. Peñarú has been able to put it away. Ishikawa returns the favor. Again, another fake to the back quick, and Ishikawa rises to deliver. If you're Team Japan, that's exactly how you want to respond coming off a timeout. Lefty serve from the Japanese setter. Good cover by Yanagida. Fukatsu goes back to Yuki Ishikawa. Fukatsu to Ishikawa. What a strong finish. And this time it's Venezuela suing for time. Because Ishikawa is catching fire. In that huddle, you saw team captain uh, Shimizu Kunihiro displaying uh, how he wants his teammates to form their hands when they go for a block. We'll be playing defense here. A combination play, but denied. Good ups, though, by Hector Mata. Ishikawa, drop ball. Good up. Gonzalez straight into the net. Coach Vincenzo Nacci telling his guys to settle down as they relinquish the lead. It was a three-point lead earlier. Now, all tied up, 17 apiece. Good dig. Ishikawa. Shimizu going long, but too strong. Venezuela back on top by one, thanks to that attack error. So Venezuela be competitive here, thanks to their percentage attackers, as another one goes in. Quick play once again for Japan. And Dekita jumping before the set, able to put the ball away. Ishikawa on deck to serve. Good looking one, just too strong. I dread to think how fast that ball was. Unfortunately, it also quickly came back to lead to Venezuela, 19 to serve 18. Top spin serve. Back quick, or back set rather. And Shimizu taking care of business. Boom goes the dynamite. And immediately says thank you. Nice set to Fukatsu Hideomi. Japan tying the game up 19 all in set number one. Another close battle. Here in day number one, unfortunately, that error. Japan uh, 
Let's cut down on those. Uh, well, both squads actually at this juncture of set number one. Valencia with the service. Good transition for Japan. And Yanagida. Beautiful arm swing. Both teams with the well away from set point. Just a bit. Strong service, good effort to chase it down and a free ball. Japan with a chance to run a play and they go to the middle. And Tommy Matsu, full contact, up high and down strong. And that's another timeout whistled by Venezuela. They don't want Japan to pull away. One point lead for Team Japan here in set number one. They are four points away from taking the opening set unless Venezuela has other plans. Oh, good hit there. A dive attempt by Nagano. Has to play defense on his toes, though. That hit by Jonathan Quijada. Not sure if uh, that's exactly what he intended, but it worked anyway. So they tied the game. Ooh, strong serve, but handled well. And again, another beautiful finish by Yanagida. Just one on one. Taking cross, hitting line. Twenty-two serving twenty-one. Good handle on that service. Gonzalez puts it away. Fernando Gonzalez, hundred ninety-four centimeter outside hitter. We are headed for a close and competitive finish. Well, both squads are having their trouble at the service line at certain points. Let's take a look at Andy Rojas Guevara. A little taller, 197 centimeters. Subbing in for Fernando Gonzalez. For Japan, on the other hand, They send in uh, Masahiro Sekita, 177-centimeter setter. So, hey, two-setter uh, lineup on the floor for Japan. Uh, Ishikawa, there's a fault on that one. A 
it is. Well, I thought Japan was going to challenge. They were looking at their electronic team tablet again. You have five seconds to press uh, which category you want to challenge. Shimizu puts it down. And the team captain, Gori, sending us to set point. That right side finish. Overpass. Oh, almost a pancake save there by Yanagida, but Venezuela scores again, so it's going to be an extended first set. Back set. What a block! Rona Rivas Quijada. One man SWAT team. As he shuts the door. And Japan wants to talk things over. One good reception, good pass for Japan to equalize. Venezuela try to go for a service ace here, or at least load up the service. Make it hard for Japan to set up. Japan with just one more error. Seven to Venezuela, six. Attack points even, 14 apiece. Easy over on the service. Back set. Ishikawa swings and hits. Scores on that one. Japan retake the advantage. Japanese phenom Yuki Ishikawa serving. Top spin, that service. Back set. And an emphatic finish. Wilner Kihada coming alive in the latter part of set number one. Twenty-six serving twenty-five. Extended set point. Back row pipe. And Ishikawa delivers. Perfectly executed. Valencia almost got a piece of it. Well, actually got a piece of it. But no coverage as Tommy Matsu subs in for Sakita. And Yuta Yoneyama, another outside hitter, coming in for Japan. Yoneyama to serve. Mata handles that one. And Valencia putting down a facial <laughs> as it catches uh, Tommy Matsu square on the face. Again, extended set point. Thank you, Back in. It's a momentary substitution.
Which team will it be? Taking set number one. Oh, had to chase after that one. Yanagida trying to make something out of nothing. Good defense by Venezuela. Oh, overpass! Ball stays in play. Gori gets denied! And Venezuela with a strong finish to set number one. Extended set, but no problem. They take it 28 to 26. Can the hosts recover in set number two? We will find out when we come back. As you can see, the story of the stats, uh, Japan committing one more error. Venezuela with that crucial block. That block kill that ended set number one and they took it. Extended first set, 28 to 26. And that has to boost the confidence of Team Venezuela stealing a set from Japan here on their home floor. Take a look at some of the highlights. Different names showing up to play. Fernando Gonzalez on the other side. Good blocking early for uh, Tommy Matsu. Uh, Valencia hitting middle. As you take a look at Valencia in uh, Piñarua, showing a smile there because they were up to a certain point. They were even scoring from the service line. There was a late surge by Ishikawa and uh, Yanagida. Two players of that famous next four. Uh, Shimizu with Rojas denying him that the net. No one department in particular that Venezuela is dominating, just getting some of the breaks and the uh, Executing better. That first set could have gone either way. That's how close it was. And thanking everyone joining us here at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. And to everyone watching around the world. Set number two about to start. That must be that must have been an interesting Japanese huddle. Of course, Venezuela ranked 20th in the world. Japan six spots above them, ranked number 14. And they have won the, their last few meetings. The World Cup, they won straight sets, talking about the Japanese. But that was in the past, this is now. Jonathan Quijada, Edson Valencia, Fernando Gonzalez, Hector Mata protecting that floor. Kema Carrasco setting for the thunderous finishes of uh, Curvin Pinarua. Venezuela. Looking to take the second set as Japan recovers. So Yuki Ishikawa is preparing to serve. Reading and anticipating how, or rather where Ishikawa likes to attack us. Ishikawa serves up an ace. Limiting this talented guy is a big challenge, but would be big for uh, Venezuela if they can, if they are able to do so. And 
Ishkawa. The chase away, Pinarua. And a free ball. Let's see how the Japanese transition. Backward putt. Ishkawa is alive and kicking. First two points. Here's set number two. From Ishikawa Yuki. Multiple ways of uh, setting up a higher flyer like him. Straight down. And just listen to this crowd react as Ishikawa Yuki, number 11, starts the second set on fire. Timeout whistled. Team Japan going to their most explosive player, Ishikawa Yuki. As they lead the second set, three to love. And uh, the Venezuelan star, Kervin Pinerua, answer. We'll find out here in this moment. As Ishikawa serves it straight to the net. And the Venezuelan setter, Emma Carrasco. Serving and scoring with an ace serve. If I'm not mistaken, the Kema Carrasco was an import in the 2014 Asian Men's Club Championship in Manila. That's Yanagira flying out of nowhere. And Dekita faking the quick attack. Double block too late. Too big of a gap for Yanagida to abuse. Dekita Takashi serving. Four serving two. Japan with a two point lead. That one, uh, no good. Four touches on Venezuela. The attackers of Fernando Gonzalez are either too long or too short. Back set. A good block. Yanagida showing his versatility. Can score on spikes. Can score as part of that Japanese wall. Sailing out of bounds, a little flat. That gives Venezuela a point. Well, one of the goals of Venezuela was to get scoring outside of a curve in Pinarua. They have been getting it. Unfortunately, that service going awry. Japan with a chance to head to the first technical timeout with the lead. Front center, Valencia, gonna score that time. 
is Shimizu, who puts it away. And the captain leading the way is Japan with the lead. Heading to the first technical timeout, 8-3. to three. Uh, this match is as close as they come. Japan only leading by two attack points, 18 to 16. All even on blocks for a piece. One service ace more for Japan, three to two. One less error for Venezuela, eight to nine. But here in the second set, it's an eight to three advantage for the Japanese. Top spin serve. Set to the outside. And Gonzalez. Dueling the blocker. Smart hitting by Fernando Gonzalez. Going for the arm there of the Japanese blocker. Shimizu denied up top. There's Pinarua. And a strong hit and a finish. Kervin Pinarua from one captain to another gets it off Kunihiro Shimuzu. And Kervin Pinarua, you got it bad. Good heads up play. And they get it off the blocker, Yanagira. It's like a tag team now for Japan. Earlier it was uh, Ishikawa Yuki. Uh, this time it's uh, Masahiro Yanagira. So the outside hitters taking turns hurting the Venezuelan defense. They're up nine serving five. Shank pass. Offhand tip. Oh, Ishka a slip. Chance for Venezuela. And they capitalize. Ishikawa slipped on his approach. And then another smart shot by Fernando Gonzalez, recognizing that Takaaki Tomimatsu was right in front. But Ishikawa saying he's okay. Ooh, Pinirua, strong serve. Free ball. Kema. Ball still in play. It's nice to be lucky. Gonzalez swings and hits. And Venezuela, what a fight back. Now down by just two. Seven to serve nine. Oh, shank that one. And an ace serve by Kervin Pinarua. Catching Yanagira napping. Full swing, furious finish, and a timeout whistled.
one point ball game. Japan uh, up nine to eight against Venezuela. Kervin Pinarua looking to make life difficult for the Japanese from the service line. Fortunately, straight into the net. And during that timeout, uh, Yanagida Masahiro was getting uh, reception instructions from his coach, Masashi Nambu. Short serve. Back set. And Pinarua. Imagine if uh, Kervin Pinarua was not convinced by his mother to start taking volleyball seriously, what could he be doing right now? Well, his mother, former volleyball player, convinced him to play the game. Excellent block inside. And Jonathan Quijada going up high to shut the door. Anticipating the middle play. So no quick attacks allowed whenever Quijada is roaming the net. And an ace serve. Fernando Gonzalez, look at the top spin. Is finding its mark. And yes, sir, that is definitely in. Venezuela overtaking Japan, 11 to 10. Ishikawa dug up by Pinarua. Pinarua timing it. And that attack sails wide. We've seen some competitive games here in day number one of the World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. And this is definitely in the top three. <laughs> Almost for Wilner uh, Rivas Quijada. It was a 42% spiker during the 2015 World Cup. As Venezuela calls for a challenge. Asking for a net touch. Again, uh, different categories for the challenge system. Ball in or ball out, block touch, net touch, antenna touch, and the foot fault if you step on the service line, the back line, or you cross the center line. Ooh, hit the top of the tape. Challenge there by Coach Vincenzo Nacci. And 201 centimeter, Jesus Chorillo. Subs in for Venezuela. Demo Carrasco has two spikers in front. Pinero at the back line, always dangerous. Ishikawa hangs in the air for the drop ball. Smart hitting for Ishikawa Yuki. Doesn't have to be full force swings all the time. As he ties the game, 12 all. Not the best follow up to that one, a service error. Carrasco to serve. Yanagida. It's a free ball. Good up. And Hector Mata. And in transition. Willer Rivas Quijada swings, hits, and scores. Get the flight on that one. And even Vincenzo Nazi. Celebrating that point. 
back set to Shimizu. It sails out. So spiking percentage a little uh, low for Japan right now. As Venezuela overtakes them up by three and a chance to get the second. The lead into the second technical timeout rather. Shimizu again. Joust. Going to the other side, and there's a block touch. And Venezuela with the lead, up by four, 16 to 12. Technical timeout. Venezuela able to handle the early storm here in the second set. Japan was punishing them early thanks to Ishikawa Yuki's, uh, I think, two, three point explosion. And look at them now, up by four. Built on uh, strong services. A relentless floor defense. As long as they can put it up at the world level, the various attackers can put the ball away, like what we mentioned, Pinerua. It seems as if there's almost no bad set for him. Schema Carrasco runs the offense. Let's see as well if uh, Jesus Chorillo could put some points on the board while he's on the floor. Carrasco to serve, 16 serving 12. Straight into Yuki Ishikawa. And Yanagira. Right now, Japan going to the outside hitters. Sianagira scores on that one, and this time it's uh, Dekita Takashi serving. Oh, Jesus Chorillo! Hammers away. Look at him, spiking that facial. Reception by Ishikawa. Shimizu. Looked good up by uh, Alberto Briseno. Japan scrambling to protect the floor. And look at that. Yanagira gets it off the block. Credit half of that point to, Fer to uh, Nagano Takeshi. Here's Shimizu serving. That's exactly what Japan needs to shore up their floor defense. Cut down all the errors. Gonzalez denied. Oh, good effort though by Venezuela. Yanagida off the block. Fukatsu doing an excellent job recognizing that Yanagida is on fire and goes to his outside hitter. Venezuela wants to re-strategize. They call the timeout.
Taking a look at Yanagida Masahiro. A six foot one, 186 centimeter outside hitter. Part of the next four of uh, Japanese men's volleyball. Always attracting a crowd wherever he goes. This time looking to lead his team back into this game. Only trailing by two. Hiro Shimizu, 2008 Beijing Olympian, seven-time World League veteran, serving. Yerua sails out. Japan looking overtake Venezuela and hopefully take this set. Good reception. Jesus Chorillo with a score. Here's Yana Gira. Scores again! And listen to this crowd roar. One, two, three, doesn't matter. Because I am going to deliver. Overpass and the put away. Tommy Matsu joins the party. As he tells the Venezuelan defense, you think that service was fast? Take this. Andy Rojas, outside hitter. On the floor right now for coach Vincenzo Nacci. And Japan now back with the lead, 18 serving 17. Great pass. Peñarua putting the ball away. And Venezuela's ability to answer back. That's going to be important against uh, this relentless Japanese offensive scheme. That's Jesus Churillo. Serves it long and out. He, this is the man of the moment so far here in the second set. Yanagida Masahiro. Can he make it a two point lead for Japan? Good up. Yanagida, no. Pinerua off the double block, but denied. And how about that? It's Fukatsu sending it back. Ishikawa, Fukatsu, joining forces on the double block. Yanagida preparing to serve once again. Two point lead for Japan. Not quite. Triple block of Pinarua making him think, but he scores anyway. With that reaching the arm back in Ishikawa. With a touch. Yanagida has to be a little spent here. Yoniyama Yuta on the floor. Pinero targeting Ishikawa on the service. Here's Ishikawa coming back on the offensive and scores off the touch. Wilner Rivas 
comforting uh, Alberto Briceno, applauding his effort. Japan in great position to take this set. Only four points away. They go to Fernando Gonzalez for the strong kill. And now it seems uh, Gonzalez has a better feel for his shot. Like what we mentioned earlier, either spiking long or attacking short. Good pass. And Shimizu puts it away. That's exactly what he tells Nagano. Nice pass and a nicer finish. Look at the wrist action there, wrist away. Team captain. It's Fukatsu serves. Back set. Pinerua. Overpass. Curve it again. Gets blocked. And that's how much respect they have for Curve and Pinarua. They took Ishikawa, Dekita, Shimizu, protecting the net. Let's see if Japan can hold uh, fast and strong. Take a look at Kema Carrasco. Oh, so there's a challenge on the floor. So ball in or out. Oh, that's well inside. Action happened too fast. Venezuela might have thought that it sailed out of bounds after the block. So although from our angle here at the panel, it looked all good, going straight down. Another excellent block. At that time, it's team captain. Shimizu. Glory flexing its muscles defensively. And we are at set point in set number two. There's well a chance to run the play. Faking cross. Hitting line. Oh. Well, there's a fault. And Japan wins their first set off the tournament, taking set number two, 25 to 20. More action in just a moment. Story of the stats so far. Well, Japan committing uh, two less errors in uh, the previous set. One more attack point, three more blocks. And just hustling harder on defense. As this game all tied up, one set apiece. 
Venezuela threatened to come close towards the last part of that set, but thanks in large part to number eight, Yanagina Masahiro, and then the triple block on the curve in Pinarua. And then later, Fernando Gonzalez, net defense. Huge part of that second set win. All right, Team Japan, as we take a look at some of the highlights, there was Ishikawa starting uh, the second set scoring festivities. Kervin Pinarua answering back. And look at that. Masahiro Yanagida. Like a swashbuckling hero. Responding just in the nick of time. Well, for Team Japan, they need two more sets. The same for Venezuela. Well, both teams with their flashes of brilliance in this game. For the home uh, crowd support, give Japan a little extra in this game, or will it give a little extra motivation for Venezuela to come out even stronger? Yana Gira took a breather earlier. We'll see if he can, uh, yes, just enough strength to come up even stronger here in set number three. I think that's uh, Fernando Gonzalez We're getting some instructions from coach Vincenzo Nazzi. For Venezuela, you'd like more offensive variety, like what they showed in set number one. For Japan, a better overall performance, not just attacking-wise, not just uh, scoring from the service line, but the blocking, huge. Floor defense, huge. Because all of that allows their setter, Fukatsu Hideyomi, to do his thing. And this is one of the biggest stages in world volleyball. This is the 2016 World Olympic Qualifying Tournament broadcasted around the world in many English-speaking countries. Here we go, about to start set number three. This is Chorillo. We've got the... Uh, the call up earlier in set number two will remain on the floor for Team Venezuela. Gemma Carrasco is still there. Wilner Quijada. Jonathan Quijada. Uh, Kervin Pinarua. Fernando Gonzalez on the floor. But uh, this time it's uh, Alberto Briseno coming back in as libero or liberal. And on deck to serve, Wilner Rivas Quijada. Good up. Quick play, straight down. Jesus Chorillo, the dagger and the swagger. As well, looking to establish their middle and make it easier for the wing spikers if they switch it up later on. Service handled well by Ishikawa. Back set, Shimizu gets it a go. This crowd always loves it when Kunihiro uh, Shimizu is on deck to serve, powerful jump serve, and left the opposite. 2008 Beijing Olympian. That's exactly what we were talking about. Gonzalez gives it back, free ball. Yanagira! And here comes the pain. 
Yanagira Masahiro avoiding the block going cross. That's the defense of Kervin Pinerua. Two serving one. Adjustment on the part of Shimizu. Just dropping right in front of Hector Mata. And Shimizu says, boom! Two-point lead for Japan. Make that a one-point lead. Service error. Shimizu has said that the, uh, Japan is looking at the success of the women's team as inspiration. Of course, uh, the Japan women's national volleyball team having qualified for Rio 2016, emerging as the best Asian side in the women's Olympic qualification tournament. Unfortunately for his Churio, he served it straight towards the net. Yanagida preparing to serve. They try to target the uh, Wilner Rivas Kihala. Sends it straight out. It's, it's the middle of the game, so errors like that have to be minimized. Talking about both squads. Looking you know, to create an angle of that one. Oh! And Shimizu gets it off the block. Take a look at it once again. It gets a triple block. Goes straight out. That's Tomimatsu, Takaaki, serving. Five serving three, set number three. Gonzalez, good reception. He gets it back. And scores on that one. So there's a challenge on the floor. Asking for a net touch. And if any part of the net moves, no fault. Successful challenge by Team Japan. The FIVB has said, and with the help of this uh, technology, mistakes uh, calling crucial games will be minimized as Ishikawa! Flies and finishes. Fukatsu to Ishikawa, the Japanese phenom. Attacking uh, with a cross, showing everyone that he's the boss. And Venezuela calling a timeout, down by three points, three to six in set number three. Judging from how Coach uh, Vincenzo Nacci was talking to his squad, 
Asking the team Venezuela to communicate more. Japan serving. They are up by three. Had the stir for it. And Jonathan Quijada puts it away right at the apex of his leap. Gonzalez. That's a point for Venezuela. It's outside the antenna. Good effort, though, from uh, Fukatsu. Oh, a serve. Fernando Gonzalez, who always wears his heart on his sleeve, gets it off Yanagida. Miscalculation there by Masahiro Yanagida. Back set. And Shimizu attack too long. The back errors enabling Venezuela to take the lead, seven to six. Gonzalez now looking to make a living from the service line. Another overpass. Back set. Pinarua, what a play! What a setup job! And a better finish for Venezuela with the lead, heading to the technical timeout. Two-point lead by Team Venezuela, 8-6 to six against Team Japan. This is day one of your uh, 2016 FIVB World Olympic Qualifying Tournament here inside the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. I think over 70,000 people are in attendance witnessing this game. Ishikawa off the block and puts it down. Then they fake middle and Ishikawa Hammering away. Only leaving Kemba Carrasco to lament that last point. Tough serve. Pinirua, drop ball. Oh, what a save. Dekita going long. What a block. Takeda Takashi, but look at that excellent save again from Nagano, and Takeda protecting the net. It must be an emergency case because Team Japan has called in the SWAT team. Okay. 
Platt serve. Another block that catches the line. And this is what we were talking about. Excellence in all departments, not just in spiking and serving, but also especially in blocking. And Dekeda getting back-to-back -back hits. Japan back on top by one. Oh, overreach. Followed the Venezuela. Arasco. Trying to get it uh, quicker than this uh, counterpart on the other side of the net. This play resumes. Fukatsu. Too long. Good read by uh, the Venezuelan uh, back line. Oh, it was above their shoulders. No heavy top spin. So less chances of just rolling inside. What a play. And Tekita this time getting established by Fukatsu. Good pass by Nagano. And Tekita. Taking care of the high setup. Just a little away from the reach of, of uh, Jesus Chorillo. Again, though, another service error. Carrasco, reception by Nagano, Shimizu, and another great control by Takita, just patrolling the front of the net. He got to feed the big man, anything that comes into his area, he wants to put away. And thanks to Takita, Japan leading in blocks, nine to five. Unfortunately, the errors continue to pile up. I think that's 63. Wait. Oh, no, that's... Uh, um, check that. It's a 17 for Japan. Good shot there by Tommy Matsu. So the middle blockers. Doing the damage for Team Japan earlier. It was Tekita this time. Tomi Matsu. Well, to be quick. Two point lead for Japan, 13 to 11. Shimizu serving. Straight to uh, Wilki Hada. And there is a lifting violation. Gives Japan a three point advantage. Arasco a little frustrated. Venezuela with their setter in front. A serve! That makes it seven service aces for Japan. Three aces from uh, Shimizu. That, or rather, just five service aces a team, my mistake. Here's Pinerua denied. Coach Kali Sato said it. This team is in good hands, especially if the young middle blockers grow up in a hurry. And Takita. And Tomimatsu. 
frustrating the Venezuelan attackers as they take the lead, heading to the technical timeout. Andy Rojas on the floor right now for Venezuela. 197 centimeter outside hitter. As Shimizu, 20 hero, serves it up. Quick play for Jesus Chorillo. And Venezuela going back to what made them successful early in the game. Just right in front. Nagano Takeshi. Nanagina handling that serve. He takes it back. Venezuela overpass. Chance again for Japan. The slide and the finish. First backslide we've seen today. As Tommy Matsu scores again. It's a clash of the Titans with both teams establishing their middle hitters. But Japan with the advantage, 17 to 12. Venezuela in transition. Ishikawa, that's good! And Yuki Ishikawa with a creative finish. Six point lead for Japan. And Venezuela capitalized on that Japanese service error. Substitution. Uh, Yoneyama Yuta replaces uh, Yanagira Masahiro. This is usually that point of the set for Japan when uh, coach uh, Nambu Masashi sends in those substitutions. Quick play. Tommy Matsu takes care of business. And this is just the result of great passing. Mimatsu uh, actually got dipping uh, his shoulder a bit, but able to put it away. Carrasco to Gonzalez, taking cross going line. And Gonzalez, that's one of his pet moves, looking one way, going the other. One of the guys uh, who does that on a regular basis from France, Irvin and Gappe. Back set. Shimizu. And that's good. Gori delivers.
Little blocker late, forming that wall. And Shimizu almost bending in midair as he hit that ball. Wilner Rivas Quijada returns to the floor for coach Vincenzo Nacci. Katsu serving, targets Gonzalez. Peñarua! And unfortunately, he goes out. Japan within uh, four points of taking set number three. Venezuela good finish on that one will Rivas Quijada well, Venezuela actually uh, now looking for those names to start showing up again just like what they did in the first set set up for Shimizu this time from the left side Picture perfect setup. One on one at the net, then Shimizu taking care of business. Yanagida returns. Japan is looking for a strong finish. Three points away from winning this set. Carrasco going up high for that setup. And this time it's Wilner Rivas Quijada delivering. That's two points of uh, Venezuela belonging to number 19. His version of looking right, spiking left. Short serve, picked up by Nagano. Jesus Chorillo denies him. The Titans clash up top and Jesus Chorillo standing tall over the opposition. A serve. Venezuela with a strong fight back as Nagano unable to receive that one well, unable to pass. And Japan calls for time. Venezuela facing uh, this four-point hill to climb. Difficult, but not impossible. Nagano receives well. Back set, Shimizu with his offhand. And if you're an attacker, you always have to show something different. That title blocker skiing in on the left hand. Willer Kehada unexpectedly. Shimizu shows him he can finish with the right. Sekita in for Nekita. Twenty-three serving eighteen. Combination play. And Sakita getting the worst of that one. That's a full swing by Wilner Rivas Quijada. Caught in the shadow of, of the block there. Trying to protect the line. Way off of that service. 
That sends us to set point here in set number three. Team captain on deck. And Shimizu with an ace serve. As Japan takes a one set advantage, two to one against Venezuela. Can Japan close things out in the next set where Venezuela force a decider? We will find out when we come back. Taking a look at the story of the stats in the previous set. But Japan up uh, two sets to one. 14 to eight attack point advantage. Three to one in the blocks department. And just one dig better than Venezuela. Well, Venezuela still looking to uh, rediscover what made them successful in the opening set. They were receiving well. We have lesser errors. As we take a look at some of the highlights, and team captain Gori Shimizu Konihiro with that ace serve to close the previous set. But like what we mentioned, it's about the all around game of Team Japan setting up their middles. At one point, it was Dekita and Tomi Matsu tag teaming, taking turns, controlling the offense. Jesus Chorizo, or Chorio rather. Uh, Got that a block late in the set. But Yuki Ishikawa also showing his creative finish. And it's up to, uh, to the blocking scheme uh, of Jesus Chorillo with uh, Edson Valencia, who he replaced and hasn't really returned. Jonathan Quijada, the other middle blocker. And everyone looking to protect the net when they're rotated up front. Fukatsu Hideomi running a good game so far, as well as his counterpart on the other side, uh, Kema Karasko. Irvin Pinerua, a little silent in the previous set. Can he explode here in set number four for Venezuela to force a fifth and deciding set? Carrasco's leadership must be at the forefront. So we are set to begin. So much action just in day number one after the World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. This is just the first Olympic uh, World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. The second World OQT will be held. And somewhere else it will be participated in by Chile, Mexico, Tunisia, and Algeria just for one spot. And that's uh, Tekita Takashi serving. Back set. Pinerua powers it down. You need more of that. If you're Venezuela, just make the defense key in your main gun and get the others involved.
Kunihiro Shimizu on deck. Looking to another strong start here in set number four. Torillo. Nagano cleans it up. Combination for Yanagida. And Yanagida, amazing effort throughout this game for Team Japan. There are 42 attack points. Yanagira has 11. Fortunately for Shimizu, sends it straight to the net. Well, both teams exchanging errors. Sloppy start. Set number four. Just the 19 to 20 error count. Uh, Japan getting one more error, but oh, what a hit! There's the overpass from Mata. Eshkan knows what to do, sends it straight down. Four serving two here in set number four. A serve from Yanagida. Hector Mata. It's been a long night for him. Yanagida. Will serve his ace. And a three-point lead for Japan. This time, good adjustment by Briseno. And Peñarua tooling the blocker. Irvin Peñarua with that full swing. This goes for the left elbow of Ishikawa Yuki. In the game, not just all power. This is Chorillo. With an ace serve. Didn't start this game, but is contributing mightily right now. You'd think he was uh, Coach Vincenzo Nacci's secret weapon. There's Ishikawa, triple block. Good defense up top by Venezuela. Triple block formation, almost elbow to elbow. And an excellent job by Andy Rojas Guevara. Denying Ishikawa the cross court shot. Japan suits for time, ball game tied, five ball. It's a festive atmosphere inside the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. A dominantly Japanese crowd, of course, cheering the hometown team. I'm sure uh, there's a group of Venezuelan fans somewhere inside the gymnasium. So take a look at Andy Gonzalez. Might have uh, tweaked something with his left ankle. Yeah, I was wondering where he was. That's why it's uh, Andy Roas Guevara. 
Wing is the wing spiker. This is Chorillo serving for Venezuela. Nagano is there. Ishikawa off the combination. Backboard attack. Going awry for John Lynn Cruz Barreto. Here's the prolific Tomimatsu Takaaki serving. What a play. Quick hit from Jonathan Quijada. There was little defense put up there. Takeda was just one on one against Quijada at the middle. Leading serve from Pinerua. Ishikawa over the triple block, handled by the coverage. Pinerua thought there was a check, but no ball touch. Seven serving six. Uh, Fukatsu serving. Play for Andy. First down, Yanagira, Ishikawa, Shimizu. Hector Mata, the second touch. Pinerua puts it away. It's the power play of Kervin Pinerua. Too big, too fast, too strong. Shimizu gets it back. The ability to respond quickly and transition into their offense. And Team Japan takes the lead, heading into the first technical timeout. Shimizu rises, delivers as the team captain. One point lead by Team Japan after the first technical timeout, eight to seven. Japan up by a set, two to one against Venezuela. And this is uh, both squads' uh, first assignment here in the 2016 FIVB World Olympic Qualification Tournament. Ishikawa Yuki serving. And a quick play, unfortunately going long and wide and out of bounds. Good intention though for Jonathan Kihada. Let's see if uh, Japan can wrest momentum away. Ishikawayuki serving it straight into the net. Jonathan Kihada serving. Well, the promising uh, Little blocking prospects. But as I say that, Japan tooling the blockers there, getting it off as is Chorio. Sam Shimizu. Trying to go cross. Jesus Chorio was there. 
Couldn't control the volleyball. Back set for Pinarua. Always a good option there. Adjustment, but attack not over. How often can you say that at this level? With powerful hitters like Curve and Pinarua. Try to adjust, try to go, just go with a soft shot. Hoping maybe get it over the blockers, or two of them. As they went up strong, timeout whistled. Venezuela trailing 8 to 11. During the 2015 FIVB World Cup, uh, these gentlemen uh, produced mightily for their squad. Kervin Pinarua leading his squad at 121 points, followed by Wilner uh, Rivas Quejada. Maximo Martinez now in the lineup right now. Emerson Gonzalez. Fernando Gonzalez also in that list, but this time it's uh, Jesus Chorillo showing up. Earlier, you also saw Edson Valencia, the more senior players of the squad. But Jesus Chorillo earning every minute of his playing time. But can he do more? With this squad trailing, they're set number four. Do or die set for them. Combination, but blocked away. Ball still in play. Shimizu winds it up. Cross attempt, no go for John Lynn Cruz. That makes it a four point game, 12 serving eight. With Dekita serving. Targets Giada, Chorillo. Good heads up play there. Oh, straight down. Authoritative finish. And Kema Carrasco. I'm not just here to set up. I can put the ball away as well. Attacking center is Kema Carrasco, who is on deck to serve. Backward pipe. That's good. A pretty play for Ishikawa Yuki. Not the dig. The reception rather, and then wrist away for the put away. Someone else has to set because Narasco was the one who received it. Free ball, chance for Japan. Ishikawa for the back row. And he will score. That was a good strategy by Shimizu. Served up the setter, Kema Carrasco, forcing someone else to create a play. Then when it was a free ball, that gave Japan a chance to run their play for Ishikawa Yuki. Large lead now, biggest in set number four, 14 serving nine. Peñarua. Uh, Venezuela will get that score. Ten serving 14. Gotta get up, denied. Jesus Chorillo, a force at the net. Or actually, it was Kervin Peñarua. But good close out there by Jesus Chorillo. Elbow to elbow, forming the block wall. Gotta get out, make sure this time.
Quicker set than attack in transition again. Looking cross, but hitting line. And the Anagira Masahiro delivers. Ooh, strong serve. Blocked away. And Japan with an emphatic finish heading into the technical timeout. Strong service, making life difficult for Venezuela. And an excellent block there by Tommy Matsu, Takaaki. My house, my rules, entrance denied. It is a five-point advantage for Team Japan 16-11 against Venezuela. This is their first assignment in the 2016 FIVB World Olympic Qualification Tournament here in uh, the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. A 49-40 attack point advantage for Japan. For real. Another chance here. For Venezuela, and they get it off the block. Good defense by Nagano. Almost shanked it. A good second touch by Japan. Unfortunately, that time, Tomimatsu. Hands not ready up top. Earlier entrance for Yoniyama. This is uh, Yanagira. Back set. Jimmy Zhu puts it down. And Shimizu, one and one up top. Middle blocker too late. And puts down the hammer. New face again on the floor. Ryota Denda, 191 centimeter middle blocker in the game. Come out with an outside set. Good put away by Andy Rojas Guevara. And Jonathan Kihara drawing the attention of uh, Nekita Takashi that time, so no help on the weak side defense. Ishikawa delivers! The Japanese phenom. Out of nowhere. Actually finishes over the middle blocker. It was a little too late. 18 to 13, make that 18 to 14 lead. The best time to commit that error. Japan was on a surge, you could feel it. Back set. Ishikawa, bang! Excellent pass and a furious finish. 
Could Ishikawa be in takeover mode? As Japan is up 19 to 14. Set number four, short serve. Had to dive off for it, on two, it doesn't work. Shimizu. Let's take a look at it again. Using the block and ball sent straight down. Venezuela suing for time, trailing by six. Venezuela trying to chop down the six point disadvantage. 14 to 20 in set number four. They are down by a set. Japan only needing this set to win this match. And they are five points away from that goal. That would be huge, a first victory here on their home floor. Fortunately for Ishikawa, who has two service aces, he commits that service error. On the other side of the floor, this uh, Carrasco to Chorillo or, or Carrasco to Pinerua connection is badly needed. And that doesn't help things, that compounds things. This uh, Jonathan Quijada serves it short, straight into the net. And Young. Akihiro. Yamauchi is in the game. One of the next four of Japanese men's volleyball. And that ball hit the antenna. Could be a deflating error for Venezuela. It could be a galvanizing uh, point. As Wilner Rivas Ihara is in the game. Yamauchi serving for Japan. Sends it way out. So coming in cold from the bench. Just needs to settle down. 16 serving 22. Kema Carrasco for Venezuela. Ishikawa leaning forward for that one. Transition uh, quick play, no. Shimizu joust against. Wilna Rivas Guevara ran into the second referee. <laughs> Vicente gives him a high five. Shimizu, where will he send this one? Backcourt pipe, that works. Important point for Andy Rojas Guevara. For Venezuela, that gives you a glimpse of what they can do if they can run their place. And Riota Denda, almost, but not quite. Overpass. Another chance for Venezuela. Pinerua off the block. Emphatic finish off of Yanagira Masahiro and Kervin Pinerua. 
making sure that they trim it down to something more manageable. They're trailing 18 to 23. Timeout whistled by Japan. Taking a look at uh, Team Venezuela under the leadership of coach Vincenzo Nacci, who took over in 2014. He led Venezuela to the 2015 World League. On the other side of the floor, that coach uh, Masashi Nambu is trying to get Japan back on the Olympic stage. They failed to qualify in London 2012. They're looking for just their ninth Olympic appearance. I think that's one of the most, actually, on the world stage. Gotta get out. Good up there by Andy Ross Guevara. Riota Tenta will score. And that sends us into match point here in set number four. Twenty-four serving eighteen. Gotta get out. Oh, straight to the net. Does Venezuela have one last run in them? Strong serve. Nagano. The Shimizu. And the captain delivers. Japan wins it in four sets, three to one. 25 to 19 here in set number four. And Japan is successful in day number one of the FIVB. World Olympic Qualifying Tournament 2016. A lot of heroes are rising to the occasion. Ishikawa Yuki, Yaragira Masahiro, the middle blockers, Dekita, Tomimatsu, and then finally, the team captain, Konehiro Shimizu, Gori. Just too big, too strong, and his heart's too big, leading his way, or leading his team rather, to a victory in four sets. Uh, so this uh, Japanese crowd inside the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium showing their appreciation after that uh, winning point. And certainly bright things ahead for Team Japan. A mix of veterans and youngsters, especially the next four that they like to call Venezuela. Nothing to be ashamed of. They were right in the fight. No blowout sits. Kervin Pinarua. And his squad just has to build on the successful points of this game against Team Japan as uh, both teams have a show of sportsmanship. And a rousing victory for Team Japan. And I'm sure Coach uh, Namu Masashi appreciated the fact that he was able to field in most of his players just to get a feel of competition. For Kervin Peñarua, Jesus Chorillo, uh, Kema Carrasco, they just have to go back to the drawing board and play a little harder, a little better, a little stronger in their next game here in the FIVB World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. As both teams show their appreciation to the crowd in attendance, and even the women's squad, uh, I think uh, 
kind of ringside of uh, the Japanese women's team. Uh, happy that their male counterparts got the win today. So take a look at the story of the stats. Japan just more aggressive, 14 attack points compared to nine. Two less errors, seven to nine, and then just one more dig. Japan just so aggressive, total attack points. If my math is correct, it's 56 to 44. Total blocks 11 to eight. One less serve, seven to eight. And that helped them get the victory, just so aggressive. Trying to run their plays. Trying to drown Venezuela with balls and balls and balls spiking. Uh, the quick plays for Dekita, for Tomimatsu. The service aces of uh, Shimizu, Yanagira, and Ishikawa, so huge. And Japan is going to build on their success with their first win as they continue to compete here in the 2016 FIVB World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. And that does it for our coverage here. More volleyball action continues. My name is James Velasquez. I'll catch you guys on the rebound. This has been the 2016 FIVB World Olympic Qualifying Tournament here in Tokyo, Japan. Good night.